Hello, this is Rob Chin from StereoscopicPhotos.com. I want to thank you for stopping by and checking out our uh, website and this uh, tutorial. Hopefully it will help you get you on your way to creating your own stereo cards for viewing uh, with a Holmes type or uh, the OWL type of stereoscopic viewers. So let's get started. I process my photos in Aperture on a Mac, so we're, we're starting here. And we're going to open up my first image here. And typically what I like to do is come in and do my general adjustments to all of my uh, photos, such as the sharpening and correcting the white balance, which I did somewhat on this shot. Tweak the exposure a little bit, uh, add in a little contrast or definition. And whatever I do on this photo, you need to make sure to do on both the left eye and the right eye image. So to do that in Aperture, for instance, I can right click and select Lift Adjustments. And there you see the lift and stamp window, and I can go ahead and I want to make sure that all of my uh, adjustments will be applied to the other photo. So I'm going to go ahead and move over to the right eye photo here, and I can just right click and put stamp adjustments. And then all those uh, exact same settings will get applied to this photo, which I've already done, so we don't need to do it in this case. And from there, uh, you can see uh, just kind of double checking on what it's going to look like here with the left eye and right eye views. Uh, it's looking pretty good. We have quite a bit of movement uh, in the foreground and the background. So uh, that should be a pretty good one. So I'm going to go ahead and export these two photos out to process in Photoshop. We'll just come to export. Uh, I'm going to export the versions. I like to export the TIFF 8-bit uh, size files just to make sure I have uh, good quality. And we're going to export those at 100% size. So I'm just going to take these two images and take them into Photoshop. Take my right eye version and drop it into the left eye. And combine those two layers into one image. I can close the right eye view. And now I'm going to go ahead and uh, rename these uh, layers so I don't get them confused uh, once we uh, get them into the card template. So now that I've done that, what I need to do is resize these to fit the template. And my template is 3x3 three three for the, each photo. So I'm going to do a selection at a 1 to 1 ratio and move it to about where I want it. I don't want this uh, little door doorbell uh, in there. And we're going to go to crop. And the reason why we combine them into one is so I know I've got the exact same crop in both photos. So when I check my image size here, I'm going to change it to a resolution of 300 to match my card template. And then I'm going to change the document size to 3 inches. And I also like to change uh, to bicubic sharpener for the resample. Uh, when you're downsizing images, it just helps bring in a little sharpness to it. So then I'm going to take these two layers and drag them into my card template. Oh, we'll close out this... Uh, that file. And you can see here in the card template, I like to put these in their own group. And we'll just call this one 001 since it's going to be card number one. And now that I've got that set up, there you can see my right eye and my left eye view. So I'm going to go ahead and position these. I'm going to take my right eye and move it so it snaps. And with my snapping turned on, it aligns right to my placeholder for my right eye image. And we'll do the same with the left eye. And snap it in there and now those are all set to go now what we need to do is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and copy my text over from my template uh, group and just drag it down to create uh, copies of it and then move it up into my 001 group folder here and then we'll just go ahead and uh, minimize that and turn that off so it's out of the way so now we want to create the cool uh, arched shape uh, that the pictures have uh, for each eye that the old cards have. So to do that, we're going to uh, come up here to my right eye layer and then click over on the Paths tab. And you'll see I've got vector paths set up for both eyes and the outer edge of the card. So we're going to go ahead and just select the right eye path. And you can see the path there. And then we're going to come over to Layers. And with my right eye selected, the right eye layer selected, we're going to come up to Layer vector mask current path and you see that clipped it just right for us nice mask 
and we're going to go back to the left eye with the left eye path. Same, go back to layers, make sure your left eye layer is selected, and go to vector mask and current path again, and bingo, you got it. So now we just need to go in and change the text. You can add your own signature, write it on a piece of paper with a Sharpie, scan it in. You can bring it into Photoshop. When you bring it into the card, just make sure your uh, blending mode is set to multiply and that'll make anything that's white go away and then your black uh, signature will really stand out and look good. So there you go. We have our card all created. You can modify the text uh, to however you like. Go ahead and go in and change those card titles around. Uh, the layers are all there for you to be able to customize it any way you want. You can also find uh, good paper textures if you want to use a little different texture for your card. Um, you can find great paper textures a, a number of places on the web. Uh, I like Bitbox and DeviantArt has some good ones as well. Or obviously you can just do a Google search and probably come up with a, a zillion different textures. This card happens to use a couple fonts that I got from uh, dafont.com. This particular one uses the Rough Typewriter and Outlaw, or you can use anything you want, whatever matches kind of the style that you're going for. So that will do it for this tutorial on creating a stereoscopic card. Hope you enjoyed it and learned a little something. Register on our website and upload it to share with the world. Thanks for watching.